Hi guys, I woke up this morning and I said I want to have a GET plasma. What am I talking about? There is something called GET CHDWM. This is CHDWM, what you're looking at, right? So everything that I need is installed and of course nothing will happen except a volume icon is on here now. And that's an interesting thing, knowing that wherever we are, I can always have chat up here. So I woke up this morning and I said, I'd like to have a cat plasma, but I have a better idea since then. What is interesting to know, so we're going to prepare the following thing. The Arcanix D website has always been about scripting. The D stands for a desktop and you use scripts. The scripts are on github.com, ArcanLixD, and if you download them, you get all these folders. So we got ourselves an Arco Plasma. And if you want to have the display manager, which is SDM, and the desktop, you only run this one and you skip all the others. And it's the same in all the other, well, desktops. What I'd like to do with you is do an Arco Pro installation, easy, black screen, back to Arch script, remove 30-ish packages, and then get this in. This is the Arconix D GitHub, Arco Plasma, and we're gonna change this. So, <clears throat> if you wanna know how we install things, you go to the github.com, Arcanlex, so Arco Nets Pro, the new one, right? And in the new one, there is a Calamaris telling you exactly what we need for, in this case, a Wayland thing. Um, no, not a Wayland thing. There is a Wayland thing, but that's for Hyperland and for Wayfire. We need to go to this one, Net Install Desktop YAML. It's all online. Control find plasma. This is our new take on plasma. Okay, this is revisited because of plasma six. Control C. I'm gonna rewrite much better idea. This thing. This so this is definitely minimal, right? But as usual, it's decision time. Will we stop using this one or will we maybe still keep the same file, control C, control V for you guys called minimal, called pair or something, right? Voila. So we have a copy, pair, and this one is gonna be ours. So this goes away, control V, nope, <laughs> control C, and then control V. So basically grab the code from our Calamaris, you get a long list and you make this nice. And this is why I like Sublime Text. Look at the keyboard, left shift, pressed in, right mouse click, drag down. Well, till here, okay? Watch what happens. Backspace, 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 save, done. We're finished. We are done. That's it. So we'll push it to the internet. And this is the Calamaris config, right? What we now put in there is the Calamaris config. Well, so you can see it in the GitHub pushes. So if you go to git ahead, you see that's what we've done. That's the bear, right? So it's still there if you want it. But this is, we've added all our stuff that we have developed. Why shouldn't we use it, all right? And more stuff. That's the minimal approach for Plasma. This would be the bear approach of Plasma. This is coming from Calamaris. So that's online. Now the fun, eh? super shift seven, voila. Then we're gonna clone this 
it's plasma so i have to think about it so we're gonna create the echo net and then we're gonna put it in choose a disk uh, let's see where did i have the last one that i've built this is the one already for june so let's test that one and then we no uh, the pro better <clears throat> because the pro lets me go back to, to to back to arch right so arco pro that's the one voila and we test it out and this is great right you you just make your own github whatever we have whoop copy paste put it on your github and you add the lines you like you add the applications you like start with arco pro and with plasma you're golden i mean it's a fully fledged desktop sound will be probably there because of all the dependencies that it has right it will be fully functional i'm betting right i'm done i don't know i'm betting that it would be since it's plasma so the fun is making these scripts figuring it out so this is going online and you have it have the internet this is to the beach and you end up in a black thing right grub has been our uh, ally that's a nice word has been our ally for the last six years has been reliable just the ones right just the ones that was a problem now everybody ran away to system d no it was just an release that was too soon was not communicated properly and then of course right that's all it was since then we have pacman hooks and pacman hooks keep you safe that's what we've been telling you the last weeks install the pacman hooks okay there we go let's wait for this to happen and yes and by the way arconet arco pro and arco plasma have all the hooks in them right so don't worry it's only for the guys who keep rolling that you need to install the arconix bootloader for grub all right let's wait all right let's restart and have some fun because that's the point right i want to to learn a lot of things be in control and basically stand on your own two feet so that's us pseudo pacman minus q that's what we have and if we count it then we have 709 packages then we type back to arch well um no let's do first an update so we get the databases in otherwise we see a lot of messages back to arch yes so all of this is going away and if you see something red in there you might want to run it again so things change over time and dependencies go away or there are extra dependencies so if you run it again then it's not there anymore so that's a good thing but if you would want to run it again because you see something red then you say arconlix system so it's all gone the, our system configurations or pacman hooks it's all gone your bare arch right so back to arch is this back back in but is also now back out <laughs> so everything is cool that's just i wanted to know so there were no red, red things or anything like that so now we're at 577 packages okay we've created a new setup basically git clone https you create something similar and you go to github or gitlab or anything like that and then you type Arco Linux D Arco Plasma. Everything comes in. LS, we have an extra folder. You go to Arco Plasma, fine. In there is a lot of stuff. And all I need to do is not run the bare one, but the other one, right? Under display dot sh dot that's this one sh. That's it. This is my selection, the new selection I just made in this video. And off we go. You create your own selection. 
And basically, I'm trying to give you the impression or the idea or, or compare it with a Lego box, right? You get in Lego this black, uh, sorry, red plate a base plate and on that you build your cowboys and Indians and fortresses and then I don't know what right and then you break everything down it's basically what we've done we've, we've broken everything down except these 500 and some packages uh, they stay there and now we're building it back up we say okay we're gonna get mate in or we're gonna get cinnamon in and that's the thing it's so modular arch and you can add things from Arch and Arco and, and Cache West and grab anything from out there and build your own fortress, right? Like in the time when we were playing with Lego, our imagination was the only huh, thing that, that kept us, us back. That's the thing. There is nothing to keep you back. You can just keep building on our code and on the code of somebody else etc etc the last thing is SDM as you see so cool sudo reboot yep it's still there sr sudo reboot so we did not remove anything but as you see vimex grub theme we don't need it right it's nice when it's black and then you go on and you boot up and what will we get Look at that, right? Now I forgot one thing in the virtual machine. I forgot to set Wayland active. So I'm gonna go in X11. And the setting for Wayland has not been set yet. I thought about it, but I forgot again. So we're going X11. And then you see what you get for, with this way of working. So let's make this bigger, let's virtual box. The um, display is here, size is there, that's mine, apply, P keep, yes, keep, 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 all right, and all the rest is still to be applied, but the thing is, I'd like to have my themes there, and that's my choice, and you shouldn't follow my choices, right, you make your own choices, you make your own GitHub and run it, so this is going to be my look for today. Maybe not for tomorrow, but for today. Enter edit, put it to the top and make a full alignment fit content and we stop there. Alt N is variety if it's installed, right? Has variety been installed? No. Get variety. <laughs> That's plasma for you, right? That's plasma. Discover says I'll get it for you. Now you know me and these things, yeah, we have to think about everything. So it's not yet there. This cover is not working yet because of the back end that's not there. Never mind. Sudo so Pacman minus S variety. Neofetch is not there either. Okay, so it still stays and that's good, right? It's a little bit of Sherlock Holmes story. What am I still missing? So variety brings us quite a bit of dependencies, but it's a lovely tool. It is. Alt N is gonna make me select uh, close window. Yeah, Alt N is gonna create a new one. No, not yet. Variety. So this little sign next. Please add more images source. So anything else? As it's a virgin Lego box. You have an app, but you don't have the config. It's still up to you to figure out lots of things, loads of things. And it's fun learning gradually that the Arconic setup is fully complete, working as it should be, and this isn't. It's not the point, right? Although we have already a lot of packages and we should go over them, this is what we've installed with the Arconic D script. But still, right, <laughs> it's a minimal thing. It's not that much either. I would make my list a bit longer, right? Multimedia, VLC is there just because of dependencies, not because of us. Okay, torrent is here. There's no browser. All right, 
enjoy creating your own vision of any desktop we well arch provides and we provide the configs for it and um, do your thing with it that's basically the message right be creative and we give you the tools and now it's up to you cheers